Hey guys, I just finished this color grading example and put it on YouTube. So I thought why not do um, a quick tutorial on how I did this. Um, it, it was a quick quick edit and I just uh, fiddled around so I didn't really match up the clips uh, to each other. Uh, I just went for an interesting look. Maybe if if it was something I did for a client or for for something more important I would work more on uh, matching the clips up to get a consistent look between the clips. I'm also not too happy with the last clip here with all the noise like you can see in the background here. But it's uh, it was fun working on it and I didn't put too much time in it. But anyway, uh, I will take you through this uh, little clip and show you uh, how I did it. So here we go. This is the first graded clip. What I used for this was the sharpen um, effect. I shot this with uh, the neutral picture style and uh, I will zoom in here to show you the sharpen effect what that does is sharpening the picture obviously but when you shoot with a, a neutral template it's kinda fuzzy and uh, uh, it needs some sharpening so I put some sharpen there and I put the sharpen up to 20 you could put, put it up more but that will I think destroy the picture a bit. So I put at 20, you could probably put at 30 or something, but if you go up more, I think you will destroy the image. The next plugin I used was Colorista 2. When I turn it on, the picture looks like that. I will turn it off again so you can see the difference. What I did with Colorista was to change the density of the picture and correct the colors. Uh, how I work with this plugin I will show you later in another tutorial. But to give you a quick run through, I will show you these the, the master exposure, the master density and the three-way color corrector. Colorista has got kind of, you, I guess you could call it three passes, the master, the primary and the secondary pass. So you can basically use it like three different plugins. But for now we'll just look at the master. If I change the density here, you can see this is almost like the contrast. And you have the brightness, that's the master exposure, Oops. So I changed the density a bit. I want it to be a bit more dark in the in the black areas. The shadow and the mid-tones I gave kind of a bluish tint. And the highlight I gave an orange reddish tint. With these sliders here, you change the brightness of each each area, the shadow, the mid-tone and the highlight. If my shadows are too bright, I can take them down a bit like that or take them up like that. So it's it depends on on your source material. But with this I just played around until I was happy. What I did next was to add the Mojo plugin. And I've shown you the Mojo plugin before. For this, I use uh, the preset called Optimus. And I uh, played around a bit with the, the template. This is only the Optimus preset. And with Colorista 2, I get that. So, with the effects turned off, 
and with the effects turned on. For the next clip I have used Colorista and Mojo as well. What Colorista looks like is like this. Same thing here. Bluish teal color on the shadows. About the same on the mid-tones and a warm yellow highlight tone. Don't go too much on the yellow or the red because that will destroy the picture. The same goes for the shadows and the mid-tones. If you feel that you need to brighten up the shadows or the mid-tones or the highlights or tone them down, you can use this slider over here. Drag it up. Drag it up to make the shadows brighter, drag it down to make the shadows darker. Drag this one up to make the mid-tones brighter, drag it down to make the mid-tones darker. And the same thing goes for the highlight. Up makes it brighter and down makes it darker. The same thing goes for all of these clips really, so that's why I'm gonna focus on the last clip. That clip was a bit different, I had to raise the ISO a bit, so I got some noise in the background. And it didn't turn out well when I did the color grading. I didn't want to put too much time into the grading, so I did a quick and sloppy edit. But this is what it looks without the color grading and with the color grading. What I wanted to do first was to raise the exposure at zero it looks like that but I put at one the same thing goes for the density so if I take it down looks like that, it's way too dark so that's why I boosted it up a bit with the exposure and the density and then I did somewhat the same color tint to the image I put it a bit more blue in the shadows a bit more blue in the mid-tones and a bit more red in the highlights so that was a quick look into what I did with this video. I will make a better tutorial regarding Colorista 2 in the next few days. But in the meantime please comment, subscribe and thumbs up. I hope uh, you enjoyed this and uh, have fun. See ya!